what's going on guys in this video i just want to cover which bullet i'm going to choose for the how to reload 243 series specifically in this playlist previously i've made a playlist with the sierra blitz king where i shoot these little 70 grain ballistic tip boat tail bullets at around 3800 feet a second out of the tika really crazy velocities with those things and they are extremely flat shooting for the few first few hundred yards really cool bullet but not really something that I want to kind of teach people about because that's not really where my area of practice is. I don't really go varmint shooting all that often, so it's not going to do me a whole lot of good to try and teach people about it. Now, because I will be tearing my rifle apart shortly to uh, actually make a target rifle out of in a different in a different chambering, shooting a different size bullet, uh, these are the last 87 grain VMAX bullets that I have on hand and they are loaded ready to go so unfortunately I can't really show you the bullet shape they're right in between the Blitz King and the 95 grain TMK same story with the TMK uh, 95 grain Sierra tipped match King it's got a ballistic tip here it's got a nice big long boat tail on the back side of it it's a pretty long overall length and uh, these are a good shooting bullet I've taken these out to a thousand yard and I was hammering my plate out there so I eventually got those to shoot pretty well although my twist rate was a limiting factor in that. The bullet that I'm going to shoot and teach you guys how to use in this series is going to be the Sierra 100 grain Game King. Now this may look like a Sierra commercial right here, but by no means am I only shooting Sierra bullets. Uh, in fact, the best accuracy that I've had with this rifle is with the 87 grain VMAX. Now I haven't shot burgers or spears or oh, there's a lot of bullets that I haven't shot. Uh, in fact, these are basically all the ones that I have shot. So, I want to do a series on the 100 grain Game King. I have not even loaded these up to a full charge yet. I did a subsonic series just because it was really interesting load data. And I was curious how it would work out. I loaded those over Trail Boss just to see what the results would be. So, I don't know the true accuracy potential because I haven't launched these at a good velocity to where they would really get stabilized. But from what I saw with the subsonic series, um, I think that these will be real shooters. So this bullet has a boat tail and it's got a soft point with an exposed lead tip up front. Uh, Sierra calls this their Spitzer boat tail. Um, the Game King means that it's got the boat tail. Some of them are flat based, which the idea there is to seal up against the bore a little bit better, uh, create a tighter seal for the gases to push the bullet out a little bit faster. So. That's the bullet I've chosen to go with for this series. I think that should be just the right amount of, that's about as heavy of a bullet as I will be able to shoot. Luckily, it's uh, it's pretty heavy for its length. The longer bullets, like the uh, Sierra Tipped Match King here, that's where the twist rate really starts to come into play. Um, if you get much longer than this, you're gonna need a tighter twist rate. But this should work in most basic 243 Winchesters. And uh, I figured people would wanna learn how to reload a hunting round for it. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. And I've got a bunch of different powders to play with with this bullet. In fact, this is the last box of bullets that I really have for the 243. And I've got about 90 of them hanging out here. So what we're going to do, we're going to load these up across all sorts of different powders. We're going to go shoot them for groups. And, uh, and I'm going to give you chronograph data with all the different powders as well. So we're going to shoot plenty of these. And basically that'll be the last hurrah with the 243 rifle. After that, I'm just swapping out the barrel, but I've got a whole other series going on about that. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I uh, hope you're excited to see the 100 grain Game King. I know I'm excited to see what its potential is and I can't wait to see how they do. So we will talk to you guys later. And the next video is going to be about how to choose a powder and charges. Thank you for your time. We will talk to you later.